بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, the topic which I'm going to discuss with you is uh, integration with the uh, limits especially infinity so this topic is newly added in June 2020 since then it is coming every year so let's start basic formula we have whenever we have something in the numerator and we divide by zero so it gives us infinity undefined you can check in calculator five by zero you get a infinity undefined or called math error for example minus four over zero will give you also infinity so i hope so the point is clear so if i bring zero on the other end infinity bring on this end so mathematically it look looks like like this something dividing by dividing by as infinity give you zero one some more rules we have and that is that if i add something in infinity i get infinity if i subtract something from infinity i get infinity and infinity will behave as a, a water of c water of c like if you add a bucket of water in the sea, it remains sea. If you bring a bucket of water out of sea, it has no effect on the water of sea. So I hope so, the point is clear. Same approach, if you multiply with some, some value, it look like same, all right? So if I take some power, for example, two power or power whatever, okay? So answer become infinity. I hope so these rules are very, very important. So let's start now. So when he's saying integrate this thing, so I'm starting two over x plus two power two dx one till infinity. And I am bound to bring it up. So when I bring it up, it will look like this. Okay. And I'm integrate. What is the rule of integration? Increase the power by one. So when I add one, it uh, you know it very well. Student, it give you minus one, and divided by same, and times two base differentiation, and two has zero, and x has a one. So one plus zero is one. So this I'm writing one, and plus c. No need to write because. It, it may, the limits given from us, okay, from him. So let's see now. Uh, this is a minus one, okay. This whole thing will go in denominator. It will look like this. Because minus power become plus power and this two up. And for your knowledge, negative down written, for example, negative three or negative above. So no effect on the question. So that is why I'm writing minus up. The limit is one till infinity. And now I'm going to apply infinity and let's see how we can apply infinity. So when I apply infinity, what happens students? So first I plug in upper limit. So negative two over infinity plus two minus, when I plug in lower door limit, so negative two over one plus two. And you know, if something add in infinity remains infinity and negative two by infinity give you zero. So this is a main objective and minus minus plus, And I got it this plus and two by three. And ultimately two by three unit square is the answer of the whole idea. And I hope so you understood the concept and let's have some more examples. This is another example of question available in October 2021, variant 11, question number 10A. So let's see how we can do this question. Again, I, am, I, I have to bring it up. 3x minus two to power negative three over two dx. If I integrate, increase a power by one. So I get it uh, half negative half, okay. 
n divided by same negative half times two base different differentiation. Two becomes zero and three x become three. So three, I must write it below. So <clears throat> limit is very clear one till infinity. Now simplify and you know it very well when one over three by two or minus two, it will flip and negative two by three. And you must know these things. So it means uh, this minus two by three, I can copy outside or inside even no issue at all. And this power I'll bring in denominator. Um, so I'm getting this power negative half goes down become positive half. And you take the whole limit like this, okay? Or you take this part outside. So no effect will come. Okay. And, um, and, now, <clears throat> and now what to do onwards? First of all, as usual, I will put limits or I, I think I can write two like this, even if you want make easy for you. And this whole thing become a root on it, one till infinity. Now I'm going to plug in, so let's start. First you plug in three in the place of infinity in the place of three. So negative two over three in the root, I have a three times to infinity minus two. Upper limit done. Now minus lower limit, negative two over uh, three times two, three times two, one minus two. And I believe idea is clear. As I said before, if I multiply anything with infinity, answer is infinity. If uh, we subtract, so answer is again infinity and negative two by infin infinity multiply with three will remain infinity but something by infinity is giving you zero. And this minus and minus become plus two. And this is a three minus two, one, one root is one and three. So finally we got answer two by three units, units square because give always area. Anyway, I hope so. The point is very clear and let's try one more example. So this is another example. We have a question, uh, June 2022, 13 variant and question number 10 we have here. So let's see how we can do this kind of question. One to infinity is a limit. This value will come here. I am writing here for x plus two to power negative two. And what is the rule of integration? You know it very well increase the power by one and divided by same into base differentiation. Two has zero and four X become four. And now what to do simplify. So this negative four. So I write minus up and four remains down and four X plus two to power one. This whole thing will come in denominator. Uh, limits are one till infinity. Now students, I'm going to plug in the values. Let's start. <clears throat> Minus one, four times two, four infinity plus two. This upper limit done. Minus. Now lower, lower limit. Minus one. I'm putting one in the place of each x. four times two, four times again, one and plus two. So let's see how we can do it. This is, a, I said before, if you multiply infinity with any number, it remain infinity. So it means this infinity. If you add something in inf infinity, it remain infinity. So the both are infinity. And it means and whole is infinity. So I get minus one over infinity. And this is a, a two for six. So six for the 24 and minus in the numerator. And this is giving you one by infinity. You know it very well. It is giving you zero. 
And finally, one over 24 the unit square, it gives us the answer. So I hope so. The concept of integration with limits is much clearer now.